In today's video, we're going to be going over X-Factor abilities in Madden 21, the implications of what we now know and what we can take away and then what we can learn uh, as we start to prepare what team we might use in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I make Madden videos. I make videos that help people get better at Madden, and if that's something that interests you, uh, what I want to encourage you to do is just, uh, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel, but what I would love even more is if this video helps you in any way, um, anything strikes you uh, one way, or you want to have more of a discussion, I want to encourage you to just send me a text message. My number is in the description of every video I do. You can find it right there. Send me a text. I've talked with a couple of guys from the channel yesterday, uh, got a lab game in with one of the guys so I really appreciate that community and would love to talk with you there if you don't feel comfortable with doing that then what I want to encourage you to do is join our discord server I fixed the link the link is in the description and that link is set to never expire so you can always get at me there I'd love to talk with you more there and actually we're about halfway to our goal once we hit a uh, 100 members in our discord then I will release a free full offensive and defensive guide for you guys in that discord server all right so madden 21 superstar and x factors abilities you see here that they are back and they are important if you have players with effective abilities and this i think this is going to be um i think this is going to be we're going to take a look here first at the quarterback and i'm just going to be looking focusing in on the superstar abilities so i mean we'll, and we'll just go through this here i mean x factors to me um, let me see here. I don't really care about those, to be honest with you. I mean, I do, but it's not because you don't use them every down. You don't get them every down, right? So what I want to focus in on today is the superstar abilities. Um, fearless. This is something we had from Madden 20. Passers with this ability are immune to throw penalties caused by defensive pressure while their feet are set in the pocket. And the players that have it is Tom Brady, Drew Brees, and Matt Ryan. So this is a very simple, very simple ability for those pressure defenses. Now, I actually think that this is going to be a, a critical ability. It was a critical ability in Madden 20, in my opinion, because I got a lot of pressure and accurate throws. We all know that feeling. The other thing, though, is I think in Madden 21, we are going to be see a significant shift to simply four down linemen rushing. I don't know yet, but I just don't think there's going to be a ton of really solid pressure defenses um, that are simple enough to be able to be a justy out of, like you can from the I'm one four six or the two three six or the three four bear or the three four odd. I don't think we'll see as much of that. So because of that, I think you're going to see a lot more of coverage um, kind of for send for and lurk. I think you'll see a lot of that. So that's why defensively we'll get into some abilities in just a minute. Hot route master passer with disability have access to the extra hot routes. Tom Brady's the only one that has this. I wish they would give more people this ability because when you're talking about the Madden classic and you're talking about regular head to head modes, in my opinion, this is you, it makes the bucks. One of the teams that you have to think, could be a good option because he's got everything. I mean, you look here, set feet lead passers with this ability have increased throw power on bullet precision passes made while their feet are set, except on high and low throws. I don't like that. I don't like that. You can't high and low high and low and you have to be set, but Tom Brady has this. So this is kind of pass lead. It's just not, you just can't do it on the low balls. That's one of the things I don't like, but I'll tell you what, that pass lead ability, when you work on it, and I think they're going to even make it even better, it's going to be a good ability. So that's why the Bucks, to me, they might be one of the – I think they're one of the top five teams in Madden 21. Players uh, conductor. Passers with this ability can make on all uh, hot routes and blocking adjustments twice as fast, excluding audibles. Tom Brady. So conductor, this is really good, especially for an offense like I like to run where it's – you're going to no huddle every play. You're going to throw the ball. You're going to try to basically get the defense to not be able to adjust to you. This is a really good ability. We saw Henry use it at the Madden Bowl, and we saw how effective that could be. The ability to have a quick snap um, to give the force of defense. They can't adjust. It, it really limits what the defense can do. It forces the defense to have to kind of sit in some stock coverages, and I think it really helps a lot, especially if you have a really good game plan. Escape Artist. Now, this is the ability that... 
will be very interesting to see how this works in Madden 21. Uh, I think that this ability is going to be, I still think this ability is going to be critical. Uh, I think it's going to be absolutely critical. And the players that have it, Kyler Murray, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson. So pretty much the same uh, lineup there. Kyler Murray, in my opinion, is the Arizona Cardinals are going to be usable. I mean, they're going to be usable this next coming year. I think their wide receivers are really good. And you've got Kyler Murray, who's got this key, key ability. Now, quick draw. I love this ability. This is passers with this ability have faster throwing animations when under pressure. Kyler Murray, Lamar Jackson. So again, these players now to me become a significantly more usable, even Carson Wentz though. Quick draw to me is, is kind of, I almost like it better than gunslinger. I mean, it, it kind of is gunslinger, but it's gunslinger in a little bit of a different way because the whole point of gunslinger is when is to be able to get the ball out quick. But if you have time in the pocket, you don't have to have that key fast throwing animation unless you're hitting a route late or whatever. But what I love about quick draw is this could be something that, you know, could kind of kind of get you there halfway and you get an escape artist paired with it, like with Kyler Murray or with uh, even Carson Wentz, you can get some other things with their team. So that makes that's a very interesting ability. I'll be interested to see how that works um, in Madden 21. Dashing Deadeye. Now, this is your rollout corners. Um, now, they have perfect, perfect accuracy on all throws under 40 yards while running outside the pocket, except on high and low balls. Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers. So, Patrick Mahomes, this is where Patrick Mahomes, to me, goes a little bit over the Kyler Murrays and a little bit over the guys because the Dashing Deadeye is absolutely a critical ability in Madden, you're able to roll out of the pocket. We all know, and I don't know that they're going to fix this. I really don't think they're going to, I don't think this is going to change. Zones play different when you roll out of the pocket. When you get out of the pocket, defenses in general play def- different when you roll out of the pocket. I think you're going to see, I, th- I still think you're going to see a lot of rollout corners in Madden 21. I really do. Um, I don't think that's going to change um, because it's simple passing concepts. It's sprint right option galore. Um, it's just sprint right option ran every single play. Uh, red zone dead eye. Passers with this ability have a perfect accuracy on all unpressured throws inside the red zone, except on high balls and low balls. I like I like the fact that they gave that to Patrick Mahomes and Drew Brees. Again, this is where Patrick Mahomes red zone is a very critical place. I don't like that this right here. I wish you could do it with these. If this if this little parentheses wasn't here, this ability would be a lot better. Because now you can throw some of those precision fade routes, those precision uh, wheel routes, the high ball post routes that we used to love to throw. Um, But now I don't think you're going to be able to do that. I still don't think you're going to be able to do that. No look dead eye. This is my favorite ability in Madden 20. Um, Mahomes has this and not very many people. Nobody else has this ability. No look dead eye. Pass through this ability of perfect accuracy on all cross body throws up to 20 yards, except on high balls and low balls. What I was able to do with this play or with this ability is I'm able to roll out of the pocket. I could be rolling all this is like skimbo, right? If you imagine, um, I can be rolling out, going this direction. My receiver can be running on an in route this way and I'm rolling out and I can hit that with perfect pass accuracy. That to me is amazing. Um, that ability, it, it it's so underrated, so underrated. Uh, comeback passers with this ability have reduced zone objectives when losing. Players who have it as Patrick Mahomes. What this basically means is, I don't know how this is going to work. Um, this is one I have a little bit of a question mark on. I like the fact they gave it to Mahomes. I don't know why they didn't give it to anybody else. But um, what it basically means, I what I what I think it means is that the zones are basically going to play worse whenever you're down. So you'll be able to hit things that you wouldn't normally hit whenever you're losing. That's kind of a, I think that's kind of a skill gap. And I don't, I don't know that I like that ability, but I, I, I mean, Patrick Mahomes has it. It's kind of one of those things where it's like, okay, great. I'm glad he has it. You know what I mean? Anchored extender while in the pocket, passers with this ability are almost guaranteed to break the first sack attempt by a blitzing defensive back. It doesn't say linebacker. It says defensive back. Like I said, or it doesn't say defensive end. Dak Prescott's the only one with this ability. I don't know that this ability is going to be that important in Madden 21, and here's why. I don't think you're going to get a lot of nickelback pressure. I just don't. I think they're, I think people are so frustrated with Dime 146 and Dime 236 and the fact that you can just 
throw a contain out there and get pressure. I think that people are not going to be able to get pressure as easily as they used to. I think we're going to go back to loop blitzes and four down linemen rushes and pushing the pockets and, and different things like that. So because of that, I think the defensive backs are not going to be in pressure a lot. I think who's going to be in pressure are going to be the defensive line and the linebackers. So I don't know how important this ability is going to be in Madden 21. Gutsy Scrambler. Passers with this ability are immune to throw penalties caused by defensive pressure while on the run. Ah, this is okay. Um, if they would have given Dak Escape Artist, which I don't know why they didn't, but if they would have given him that, I would have liked it. I think he would have been much more... It would have been much more valuable. Russell Wilson has it. Russell Wilson has Escape Artist, so you have that option. And did Russell Wilson have Dashing Dead Eye? I think he did. Nope, just Mahomes and Rodgers. Ooh. Russell Wilson got nerfed. That sucks. Sideline Dead Eye. Passers with this ability have perfect accuracy on all throws outside the numbers. So here's a big shift you're going to see in Madden 20. Um, or Madden 21. In Madden 20, it was post-flag elite, so you could run corner routes and post routes. That's why Stefan Diggs and Regs is so good, because you could basically run post routes and corner routes with him, and then you could put Thielen in the slot, and you can have really, really good route running from a slot perspective. With this, with this shift, what they're talking about is all throws outside the numbers. So sideline dead eye means he's going to be able to hit those corner routes, those streak routes. Those wheel routes better, but he's not going to be able to necessarily hit the post routes or the interior streaks. And so this will be really interesting to see how this plays into uh, our schemes and different things with our route combinations. Because I I have a feeling that you're going to see a, um, see a lot more ball, a lot more um, I think a lot more fade route, less crossing routes. I think you'll see less crossing routes, but we'll see. Because of, because of the fact that it's sideline dead eye, so if you, you know, you you the crossing route was good because you could throw it here, 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 and you could throw it 15 different points. With this, you know, I don't know if you're gonna be able to do that. So, but Carson Wentz gets it. Um, sleight of hand ability, passers with this ability have a higher chance of success on pump fake and double moves. This ability to me is. I, I think I see what they're trying to do. I don't know why Matt Ryan gets it. Um, ben Roethlisberger has it in Madden 20, and they kind of nerfed it. I don't know what they're going to do with it going forward. It used to be – it was really good at the start of the year, but it was almost overpowered. Um, you would pump fake, and the whole defense would glitch out. So I don't know what we'll see with this one. This one, to me, pump fakes. You know, I don't pump fake a lot. So, But at the same time, maybe I'll start. We'll see how the ability works. Pass lead elite. This ability to me is this is what makes Aaron Rodgers, in my opinion. This is this is gonna make Aaron Rodgers really effective. I think Aaron Rodgers I think Aaron Rodgers will be the best quarterback in Madden twenty one. I really believe it. I think he's the best quarterback in Madden twenty. The only thing that if they if he had escape artists. But because escape artists, I don't think it's gonna be as important in Madden twenty one. I still think it's gonna be good. I just don't think it's gonna be as important in Madden twenty one. I think that's why I'm saying Aaron Rodgers, my opinion, will be the best quarterback in the game because he already has the fastest throwing animation. He already has Gunslinger. As far as regs, if we're just playing head-to-head. Um, gunslinger ability. But anyway, let's look into this. So passes with this ability have increased throw power on bullet precision passes. So basically, anything you throw, any bullet, this is better than this ability right here with Brady. Let me show you Brady's ability. Set feet lead. Throw power and bullet while their feet are set. So Aaron Rodgers, you come back down to Aaron Rodgers, that's a difference. Aaron Rodgers can do it no matter what. Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers can do it no matter what. He's he's always gonna he's always gonna be able to do it. You can't do it on high ball, low ball. I think that's absolutely stupid, but that's just my personal opinion. I wish I, I don't get that. I don't understand that fine print at all. It drives me crazy that you can't do that. That, that to me, makes high balls and low balls. Like, if it was just, I'm just saying from the way that I play Madden, because you can't rely on high and low balls ever, like, I just don't throw it. <laughs> but you have to throw low balls. But um, I'm just saying, I just hate, I hate that, that they don't put, he can't do it on, he can't do it on um, high and low balls. Roman Deadeye. Passers with this ability have a perfect accuracy on all unpressured throws while their feet are set outside the pocket. 
Aaron Rodgers, Deshaun Watson. So if we come back up to Dashing Deadeye, let me see if I can find it here. You see how Rodgers has Dashing, but he also has um, he also has Roaming Deadeye. What that means is he's going to have perfect accuracy when his feet are set or even when he's moving. That's that's another reason. That's another reason, in my opinion, Aaron Rodgers is going to be so effective because if you just set your feet. Like, if you get out of the pocket and you're trying, like, if I'm rolling right and I'm trying to hit this route coming across, this in route, and if I just set my feet, I'm going to get perfect accuracy. To me, accuracy is going to be so key this this coming season. I I think I think pocket passers, I think pocket passers are going to get, are going to get, uh, they're going to be able to be used. Because I, I really believe that we're going to, we're going to see a four round lineman rush. They're going to, there's going to be a lot more tools to stop mobile quarterbacks. The contains are going to be better against mobile quarterbacks. The spies will be better. And I really believe you're going to see, um, I, I just think Aaron Rodgers is going to be so good. I'm, I'm thinking about the making the Packers, my team for Madden 21, just to start out the year. It's just hard because the receivers, but man, as much as I throw the ball to me, having a good quarterback is so huge. Deshaun Watson gets roaming dead. I, um, I don't know how important that is to him. Um, basically when he gets out of the pocket, you're going to have to set your feet and then throw it. And it's just kind of like, eh, it's like you either use Rogers or Mahomes, in my opinion on that one. But anyway, gunslinger passes with this ability of faster passing animations and increased velocity on bullet passes. Aaron Rodgers. What I like about this, I've said it before. I'll say it again in critical situations. Your he, his throwing animation is like half or I think it's like a half to, to a whole second faster than any other quarterback in the game. That's a big deal. It's a big deal watching D. Croft in the Madden Bowl. You saw how important that was. This ability to get the ball out um, against those four down linemen pressures to me is going to be huge next year. Fast break. Passers with this ability immediately respond to user input and defenders react more slowly. That's the key thing right there. Defenders react more slowly. On his nine quarterback run plays, Lamar Jackson gets that. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, people are really upset about the fact that you could just run QB blast with Lamar Jackson. Um, I don't think that you, I don't think that you could just run it. I think you had to have like the stick to be able to do it. I think you had to have the um, ability to actually read the defense and what they were doing. But I will say, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't want to see it go away completely because the reality is the real NFL, this is what Lamar Jackson is able to do. And he's doing it at a high level. So I don't know if I want to see this go away completely. I don't think that making it so that he can only run it like once every five plays. So you can't spam it. Like I get that, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this ability being nerfed. I think they're going to nerf it. I think basically the ability is still going to work. But I think what's going to happen is, number one, you're going to get better. Uh, run defense is going to be amped up. I guarantee it. And then also I think that. Lamar is going to get tired after every 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 time he runs it, and you're only going to be able to run it a little bit. So to me, it's not really usable as a scheme because when I'm a, as a competitive player, what I'm thinking about is what can I rely on? What can be 100% consistent? Tight out. Passers with this ability improve the catching prowess of all tight ends who are open on pass plays. Open being the key phrase there. I don't know why you need this, but I could see this being effective with Lamar. If you had like a Panther heavy, you could throw those corner routes. I could see that being effective. Um, I think, you know, if, if more quarterbacks had it, it would be more of a key ability, but it's just not. I don't. I just don't see what, I don't see what that's going to do. I don't see what that's going to do. Lofting Deadeye. Passers with disability have perfect accuracy on all lob or touch passes, except high, low, and across body throws. Um, perfect accuracy on all lob or touch. So what this means is, if you were go back to look at Aaron Rodgers, he has um, he has perfect accuracy on per, um, bullets and precision. He doesn't have perfect accuracy on lob and touch passes. So Drew Brees does have that. I don't know what that's going to mean. I don't throw a lot of lob passes, a lot of touch passes. Never really have. Maybe that's something I should start doing. But, um, and then I don't quite understand this one. I think this is just like a nod to Drew Brees. When playing in an indoor stadium, they can enter the zone. Um, which to me 
if we look at Drew Brees's X factor, so what by by the zone what they mean is their X factor. And if you come back up here, let's find Drew Brees's most effective ball cure. What's this one right? Gambler. I do like this ability for Rodgers. You basically can't be intercepted by AI. I do like that. But most people that are, you know, and see, Drew Brees doesn't even have it. He doesn't even have an ability. Oh, he has pro reads. When they enter the zone, their first open receiver is highlighted, and they ignore defensive pressure. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, Drew Brees has got that. And then let's talk about uh, safety valve. He has this one, passers with disability approve. The catch rating for all running backs who are open on pass plays, you pair that with Lamar, um, Kamara, you're going to be able to hit the running back pretty consistently. Um, to me, it's not that important. I, w I don't know. I just don't. Because, again, it's this key phrase right here, who are already open. Why do you need to improve the catching on someone who's already open? If they can't catch the ball, if they're wide open, I'm going to put somebody else in that can. You know what I mean? So I just – I don't see why this – I don't see why that's such a big – with that phrase. Because if they're covered and they can catch it, that's one thing. But if they're not – you know what I mean? That's why I'll be interested to see how this works out. Clutch ability. Midway through the fourth quarter in close games player, this ability can easily enter and remain in the zone. Tom Brady and Russell Wilson, you know, to me – that they're just not these X factors are not that good. Like if you come back up and that's why I didn't even want to talk about them. If you take a look at the X factors here, um, look at what Lamar Russell Wilson gets blitz radar successful quarterbacks stay cool and stand confidently against the blitz. When they enter the zone, all blitzing linebackers and defensive backs are highlighted can be bluffed. If I put somebody on a bluff blitz, right, it's going to highlight them. So to me, this is not really, it's not that big of a deal. I like it, but it's, it's like a nice to have, but it's, again, you're not going to get it every down. You'll probably get it in the fourth quarter, which is a most important quarter. I agree, but I just don't, ah, I just don't know how I feel about these X factors. Like Trez, the most effective ball carriers prioritize maintaining possession over all else. When they enter the zone, no tackles made against them will result in a fumble. That's a huge X factor for Lamar. That's a huge X factor for Lamar. A gambler, um, this is a good X factor. Uh, Mahomes, Bazooka, I think this is huge. I actually do think this is huge because he can throw it so far. When they enter the zone, you can throw those. You can just throw some really deep routes. But I don't know. The X factor abilities to me are not that great. Uh, or I'm sorry, the yeah, the super the X factors, the superstar abilities are great. I get them confused. <laughs> The ones you can use every down, to me, are the important ones. So, that is uh, da, 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 Agile Extender. Um, so, that's Clutch. So, Tom Brady will get it. Russell Wilson will get it. Um, yeah. To me, they're to me they're, eh, they're okay. It's like a nice to have, but it's not a must have. Agile Extender. While in the pocket, passers with this ability are almost guaranteed to evade the first sack attempt by a blitzing defensive back. Russell Wilson has that, so he's going to break sacks. Kind of same thing, but again, I don't think you're going to get a lot of blitzing defensive backs in Madden 21. I think you're going to get a lot of four-down linemen rushes. But Russell Wilson is a usable quarterback, but with him losing escape artists, to me, it's a huge, huge miss. And and it's it, it, to me, it, it puts it back on either Brady, Mahomes, Rodgers, um, or Lamar, in my opinion. Uh, jukebox ball carriers with this ability have steerable juke animations. Lamar has jukebox again. Um, when he gets that Trez ability, if he gets that X factor, then he can do the jukebox and you don't fumble. That would be awesome. Long range dead eye passers with this ability have perfect accuracy on all deep throws while their feet are set. Um, it's all right. I don't know why they only gave it to Russell Wilson. I don't know why Patrick Mahomes didn't have that ability. It's all right. Um, I've thrown a few inaccurate balls with what is Rod, but Rogers has the same basic thing, I believe. Let me see if I come back up here. Roaming perfect accuracy. So yeah, he's got roaming dead eye, and he's got dashing dead eye, and he's got pass lead elite increased throw power on bullet precision passes. Like to me, Rogers is going to be able to make every throw. 
But Mahomes, Mahomes can make it on Cross's body. That's the, that's the one thing you got to think about. Perfect accuracy on all throws under 40. That's the only thing. It's under 40. But, but yeah. So in in summary, and we'll just do the quarterbacks. We've already gone 25 minutes, so we'll do the running backs in a different video. But in summary, here's what I'm seeing on the quarterbacks. Here's the abilities that I think are going to be really, really important. The first one, in my opinion, that's going to be really, really important is going to be um, dashing dead eye. To me, dashing dead eye is so key. It, it, it is going to be key. But I actually think pass lead elite. I think pass lead elite is going to be big this year. Um, I really do. I think I think this ability is is going to be huge. That's why I think that ability right there is going to set Aaron Rodgers apart. Because I really believe the way it's going, the way the game is going to work is, I think your ability to pass lead is going to help your flat route. It's going to help your corner route. It's going to help every route you're throwing. And also, dashing dead eye to me is key. Gunslinger is key. Um, because you're going to be able to get the ball out quicker. Aaron Rodgers hits everything. You know, I'm not, I'm not too, I'm interested about tight out. And the other ability that I'm really interested in is the one ability that Carson Wentz, the one thing that does kind of interest me about Carson Wentz here is the ability to throw it, uh, basically to throw it outside the numbers. Let me see if I can find that one real quick. Maybe. Here we go, right here. Sideline dead eye. That one interests me. Because all throws outside the numbers. There's no cap to it. So he's gonna be able to put it in there. But yeah. yeah I'm not quite sure if that if that's gonna make him usable in regs. And I'm thinking specifically for the Madden Classic. Now if you were in a mutt scenario, what I would do is I would have Dashing Deadeye, Escape Artist, and then I would have, to me, I would have Guns, I would, I would have Gunslinger. I think Gunslinger is such an important ability. And then Pass Lead Elite, like, meh. Nah. I think Pass Lead Elite is going to be key too. But, Mahomes has... Mahomes has crossbody. I think that crossbody is is uh, is a really good ability too. But I think it's going to come down to Aaron Rodgers versus Mahomes. Brady, I like Brady. Set fleet, set feet lead is going to be fine because he's not going to roll out. You're not going to roll out the pocket with Brady. He's just not fast enough. Hot route master. I like that about Brady. I also like the fact that their receivers are good, and we'll talk about that in our receivers ability video. But you know, it's Rodgers is going to have that mobility, but he's still going to have the pass lead elite ability, and he's still. But the thing about Rodgers that even makes him so much better than just the pass lead elite ability is the fact that he has the gunslinger, and also the fact that he's going to have the quickest throwing animation, as long as it's the same. And I and I, I anticipate it being exactly the same in Madden 21, that Rodgers is going to be able to throw the ball faster than everybody else. But, anyway, that is that is the X-Factors, and that's the uh, quarterback abilities for Madden 21. Um, let me know in the comments what is what stuck out to you. What ability are you looking forward to using? What, um, what do you, who do you think is going to be the best quarterback in regs? Because for the first season, um, you know, uh, for the first several months, we'll be playing regs because that's when the tournament's on, but, and then we'll switch over to, to much salary cap as well. So let me know what you think. I really would appreciate the feedback. And then last but not least, don't forget if this video helped you, you know, you enjoy the channel at all. I've got a lot of tips and tricks and all those kind of videos over there at the channel as well. But if this video stuck out to you, really what I want to ask you to do is send me a text. Just let me know. Let me know. Send me your first name so I can save you in my phone. Um, it would be great. And then we can talk any anytime. Um, we can we can text anytime. I do more texting. But um, but anyways, guys, I'd really appreciate that. It'd mean a lot. And again, also be sure to join the Discord. The Discord is really the hub. It's kind of the lounge. It's, what, it's kind of the lounge 
where we can go, we can chat, you can get lab games in with me or any of my subscribers. It's just a good community. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.